What's up, Internet? Current 1776, back with another Battle Box VJ. It's Mission 70. It's December. Santa Claus is on the way. Two of them, the real Santa Claus and us. <laughs> I got Mission 70 right here, the last box of 2020. The last one of 2020 right here coming from Battle Box. Mission 70. So let's not wait any longer. Let's jump into the box and see what we got for Christmas. Yeehaw. All right, mission 70, 70. As always, I got the mission brief right here. It's got a few pages of awesomeness in it that we're going to discuss right here in a minute, but I'm not going to show it to you. I like teasing y'all for the last couple months, not throwing it up there. That way y'all watch my video all the way through. So we're going to start off with the basic box. In the basic box, the first item is Cordage Maker Micro from Grim Workshop. This little rascal right here. Now this. This thing right here, at first you're like, wow, what, what the heck is this? I'm not going to put it together right here in front of you because uh, it might take a little bit. But you get some parts here. And when you follow the directions and you put all these here parts together, I'm going to show you what you end up with in a mystery spot. Ba-bam! See that? How's that looking? So what we have here is a micro cordage tool, a cordage maker. So what happens if you need cordage or you need to lash something down, you need to tie something off, you need to pull something, whatever, something that would need cordage and you ain't got any? Just look for some trash. Yeah, I said it. Look for some trash. Plastic bottle, you know, two liter, work pretty good. So this thing right here can take a two liter bottle and turn it into usable cordage. <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool. So I will say it takes a little bit of practice, okay? So you put it together and you can pass the bottle through there and have cordage. So it takes a little bit of practice, which is cool. And that's what I like about this. You get to put it together so you know how it works and you have to practice with it before you nail it. That, that's a good thing. Well, I think, I think a lot of us, and in some cases, I'm one of them, we've become spoiled with instant gratification. I get something, it works, it does what it's supposed to do. I want to know something, I Google it, I find it out. The research and the work to really appreciate what you're doing has been lost on this planet, I think. That being said, this, you get to put it together. You get to understand how it works because you put it together. And it takes a little bit of practice for you to get it figured out and get it dialed in just right, which is cool. Helps you use your brain a little bit. Some people don't lose their brains anymore. They don't use them. So really cool item to have. You can clip it to your keychain, zipper of a jacket, a backpack, anything like that. You've got a way to make cordage if you need to lash something down or whatnot. And it's actually really, really strong. You'll be impressed once you, uh, once you get it done how strong a two liter bo bottle cut into strips really is. And if you want to make a spear or something, you can actually heat it up a little bit. It'll cinch down a little bit tighter. Anyhow. So next on the list is from Night Eyes, it's the Cam Jam. The Cam Jam rope tightener mechanism four pack thingamajig. <laughs> I've actually had a couple of these before. These things work great. It's a system that allows you to cinch down cordage, tighten things down good and tight, get it really good and tight, and it locks, it locks in on you. Let me show you one. I use these uh, to help strap down oxyacetylene tanks and bottles and refrigerant bottles and stuff like that. Like if I had to leave a job site, we had to have those things tied off somewhere so somebody couldn't walk down, walk over and knock them over or whatever. And you end up, you know, shooting basically a, a projectile through the building because it's pressurized gas in a vessel. <laughs> so I had some of these, I could take simple paracord and I could strap those to a beam in a, in a mechanical room or anything like that. I need some cordage. Hold on a minute. Let me go back here into ultimate mystery spot. Let me check the mystery spot thing right here. Paracord. There it is. I was close. Here's the part where you tangle it, you completely cause an issue. I do anyway. All right. <laughs> I did it without making a mess. That's awesome. That right there bees my spider co that I got in a past battle box. <laughs> I love it. I use it every day. It's freaking awesome. What we have here huh, is the cam jam. You zoomed in on that rascal. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you got here is the cam that jams. 
right here on this side, you scroll it over here, turn it over here to this side, and you see kind of a pathway for your, uh, your, your rope, your paracord, whatever you're using, right? So we're going to pass that through there. We can hook this to whatever we're going to hook it to, right? And when you pull down on it, if you pull it, get it tight, and it's jammed. <laughs> That's why they call it the cam jam. So it's jammed in there. So if you're going around something, pull it through, tie it off, cinch it, and it's not going anywhere. It's not going to pull back. <laughs> so I got a very, very, very ridiculous magnet right here. And here's the cam jam. Okay. So stick that thing on there. Here's your cam in. So I, as you can see, I can pull the rope through. Now it's locked if I pull on this side. All right. So let's see if I can pull this thing off the beam. God, that hurts. <laughs> well, the magnet came off. But the cam jam didn't. <laughs> oh, I think I pulled a hammy. <laughs> Don't hit me in the balls. Don't hit me in the balls. Don't hit me in the balls. Ah! All right. <laughs> That's sweet. And then when, you know, you got your slack or whatever, you can come back up, do your security knot, you know, just in case something something happens, right? But you get four of those in the pack. It's a four pack. They work great. They work really, really, really well. Obviously, I can't, I can't pull it this way at all, right? You pull them down this way, tie it off. When you're done, it's just as simple as pulling on it a little bit and then pulling it towards you. Towards, the, towards you, towards the camera, is what I'm trying to illustrate. And it just pops out of that can, and now it's free. So you just pull it a little bit. So you're pulling the cam down, and then it rotates out. You can see how this just Bite. bites down into it. Really, really cool. I dig it. I like it a lot. I don't think we need that no more. So now the third item on the list is Outdoor Life Emergency Survival Manual. We got a book, folks. It's a nice one. Check that out. That's a good looking book right there. Got a multi-tool on the front. Freaking awesome. It's got asses, I mean, assess on there. Uh, <laughs> respond, protect. Like I've said before in the past, you know, knowledge is a good thing, right? We get knowledge from books, right? Great reading material right here. Covers all sorts of very, very, and it's a nice book, y'all. This, this ain't no slouch book. This thing's nice. Does that look familiar to any people? Mm, hurricane damage. Like I said, several, several times since I've been doing Battle Box videos is it's not always about hit the fan situations, you know, bugging out, stuff like that all the time. We're talking about natural disasters are a big deal too, especially if you live on the Gulf Coast, you live on the East Coast, you're dealing with hurricanes, you know, Midwest, you're dealing with tornadoes. Over in the West Coast, you're dealing with wildfires and earthquakes and things like that. We all have some sort of disaster that we have to possibly deal with during our lifetime. And being prepared for those things is a big deal. That also falls into survival and being a prepper. It's not tinfoil hats, folks. This book has it all. Everything from communications to food to you know, safety to self-defense, water purification, um, getting through an airplane crash. I mean, let's think about it. You sitting in an airplane, you're listening to these people that are standing in the aisle showing you how to put on a mask and showing you where this is and you know where the barf bag is and all that. But what do you actually do in an in a, in a accident with a plane? That right there is going to have information that the person in the aisle 
can't tell you. They ain't got time. They got to get in the air so you can get to where you got to go. Simple things that most everybody have in their kitchen and what they can be used for. This is the kind of reading material that makes you think, right? And that's what survival and prepping is all about. What if am I prepared? What can I use this for? What can I use that for? They show you right here. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> so, I mean, just simple first aid kits. Dealing with a gunshot wound. Do you really know what to do in the event of a gunshot wound? Most people don't. Well, I got a first aid kit that's got, you know, stuff in there, you know, I'll, I'll be all right. You know, it's got sea locks, it's got this and that. Well, I mean, do you really know what to do during a gunshot wound issue? I don't know. Do you? Find out in the book. Really, really cool item right there. And it's a nice book, too, to boot. Set that on your coffee table. See how many of your friends come over and pick it up. Next up is a knife in the basic box. <laughs> the Gear Aid Burry knife right there. It's a drop point knife. Got you a little sheath right there. It's got serrations on there. It's awesome for cutting rope. And... Oh, they even include a little protective tip right there so you don't stab yourself. We don't need that. The Burry knife. Big cutting power in a small form. And I stand by that. This thing's bad at the bone right here. You got your cool drop point. You got a serration right there. It's got a little bit of jimping up here on the top. It's got a handle that I don't know how in the world that would ever fail. I mean, that summer gun right there is solid for a plastic handle. Drop my knife. Good thing it's orange. <laughs> this right here is what we call a toothpick in Georgia. Works every time. <laughs> glass break there if you need it and of course the ever needed bottle opener <laughs> gotta have a bottle opener man if we can stick a bottle opener on it we do it as human beings for some reason I don't I don't know but it's like a dive knife right it's got the uh, the sheath on there that'll shed water um, so you don't have to worry about you know water staying in there it's got a clip on the back very solid little knife and basic box right there. That's a solid little knife. If you're into kayaking, if you're into anything that have to do with water, if you get, if you like to go kayak fishing, um, you know, go on adventures, you know, uh, just exploring on a kayak, having a good knife for wet situations that you're not really worried about, you're not going to get your feelings hurt too bad if it gets gets a little rust on it or something like that. Um, is a good thing. This is a perfect knife for that. And it's designed for wet conditions as well with the type of sheath that it has because it's not going to hold water in there. It snaps in. It ain't going nowhere. Got a little snap right there. And you can put it any, any way you want. If you want the blade that way, you can do that. If you want the blade this way, you can do that, snaps in, don't matter. How about that for a freaking basic box? I think that's awesome. We got a book, it's got all kind of good knowledge in there for you to learn. We got an awesome knife, we got a way to make cordage, and we've got a way to cinch down things with the awesome cam jam right here from Night Eyes. I dig it. Merry Christmas, basic box subscribers. Put all this stuff over here, we got to move on to the advanced box. We got two items in advance this month. This, this right here is really cool. Daniel and I have been using these for a little bit, and uh, they're freaking awesome. It's called the Kong Case. Kong Case. It's built bold. It's awesome. The packaging is freaking awesome, right? Got old Kong there on the side. So what is a Kong Case? Well, that right there is a Kong Case. BAM! The Kong case. A lot of people for many years have been using a couple different 
brands, if you will, of cases like these, and they work great. All right? That's why people use them, especially for electronics, valuable stuff, filming equipment, your favorite watch collection in these, whatever. A lot of people at, uh, like, say, Blade Show, they carry boxes like this around with their favorite knife collections. And when they're showing people their knife collections down in the pit, they break out boxes like these. What makes this different? Number one, bold and awesome freaking colors, okay? All them other brands are black, maybe tan, maybe red. That's it. Check that out. That was like, hey! Here I am, <laughs> it's an awesome color right there, which is cool because for Daniel and I, we carry a lot of our camera gear in these. Like I put my drone in one, we put our audio gear in another one, they're all different colors. We know right off the bat which one we need to go after if we need, say, our lavalier mics or our audio recorder. What also makes these different is they're affordable. These are way more affordable and they come with a battle box sticker. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. The durability is there. The functionality is there. It's got the, the air valve on there. Um, it's got really good gasketing all the way around. It's got the, the foam that you can, the pluck them up foam or whatever Kong calls them. So you can take out what you want. There's two layers of it down in there. You can take out, you can stack it, you can put so you got a watch collection. You can put some watches in that one, and then more watches in this one. Stack them, all right? For instance, this one. Knife collection, right there. Somebody's been in my knife collection. <laughs> There's some missing, oh my God. But we got knife collections in here, all right? Some cool knives in here. You can pluck them up, put them however you want, yeehaw. Also has two areas for locks here, so you can lock them up if you want. They're uh, the IP, what is it? 67, IP67, we believe, uh, waterproof. Beat the crap out of them. It's gonna keep your, your equipment safe and, and unharmed, like our camera equipment. We came across them mainly because of their colors. It's all kinds of freaking colors. They got this color. It's like a really cool, like a turquoisey blue color. This color, check that out. Huh? No more boring freaking black and red and damn, we got this this kind of deep blue color that's got kind of yellow accent. This has got kind of the light blue accent to it. This has got orange accents to it. I mean, they're just really cool. Really positive locking system here. You gotta push down to open it up so it's not just you know, you, you can't just pull it. You gotta push it down to open it up, which is really nice. Real positive click. Some of y'all know I've been kind of addicted to ham radio here recently, right? You got your little QRP station, a little uh, low power station that you wanna keep in your vehicle. Put your radio gear in here. Boom, you got it. I know my radio gear is in this colored box. Oh, you had a sticker. Since we were putting them in battle box, they decided to throw some battle box stickers in the boxes as well, so. Got it. A little crooked, but that's okay, because it's mine. I know that was mine, because it's got the crooked sticker and it's yellow. <laughs> How about that? So, you may get any of those colors, okay? Any of them. You may get this color, you may get this color, or the two, kind of the blue and the turquoise color. But, there's one special colored one. Where's it at? There it is. If you get this one I'm fixing to show you, there's something special inside, okay? If you get this one, <laughs> all right? It's got kind of that turquoisey blue top, and it's got the hot pink bottom. If you get this box that I'm holding, this actual one that I'm holding right here, you get this one, you also get, Move this out of the way. Uh-oh, open that a little further. Get some cold hard cash, baby. There's $500 in there. And a battle box sticker. <laughs> Check that out. Everybody likes a little cash, especially for Christmas. If you get this box, this color combo, this right here is gonna be inside. $500. So that is the first item in the advanced box. All right, so the second 
thing in the advanced box is kind of a bonus, but it, you know, it's a $4 value. It's a sticker, okay? The Karmic Outdoors Lost and Found Decal. Now, let me tell you about this because this is pretty cool. If you're active in the outdoors, there's going to come a time where you, lo where you lose something, you know? And it could be like an accidental, you know, uh, item that you lost, like you're, you're paddle boarding or whatever, kayaking, and you get in some rough water and you lose your paddle, you know, and it's gone forever. Some of those things are expensive. You know, I know the, the paddle for my kayak, my fishing kayak, I wanna, I wanna say I paid like 120 bucks for that thing. I'd be freaking heartbroken if I lost that thing. What if you could significantly raise your chances of being reunited with your kayak paddle? That's where the sticker comes in. So this sticker has a unique, you know, QR code on it. You go into the system and you activate it for, with your information, okay? When you do that, you stick that rascal on whatever it is you want. Stick it on your phone, stick it on your cone case. I'll do that now, because I, I, you know, if, I, if I lose my cone case, somebody finds it, this right here is how I can be reunited with it. Take that right there. I'm gonna stick it right here where it can be seen. People in the outdoors, people that like to go out and have adventures, for the most part, they're all people that if they come across a piece of gear like a kayak paddle or something like that and they see that there's a way that it can be scanned to get it to who it belongs to, nine out of 10 of them are gonna scan it and they're gonna help you out so that you get your paddle back, okay? Because they're gonna, they'd are gonna they be upset if they lost their paddle too. They know that it, there's cost associated with that. They know that there's somebody out there that's like them that's into the outdoors that lost their paddle and they're gonna scan that. When they scan that, it's going to throw the information needed so that you can be reunited with that device, whatever it may be that you, you put your sticker on. And there's a reward system built into the system for the person that finds your gear. So if they find it, it gets returned to you, they get a little kickback for doing that. Okay? So there's a subscription involved with this, but it's cheap and the first year is 100% free. When you activate that sticker, it activates a one-year subscription on there. After that, it's $1.99 a year. That's it. So you buy the sticker, you activate it, it's free for a year. After that, if you want to continue with that sticker, it's $1.99 a year. On the back right here, it says first year free, like I said, and it says $29.99 after that. That's not true. They've, they've restructured, it's $1.99, so ignore that $29.99 right there. Get, get a bunch of stickers, put them on all your gear, like seriously, because it ups your chances of getting it back. They're gonna see that sticker, they're gonna see a QR code, and they're gonna scan it because they wanna see what the heck pops up when they scan the QR code. They get a reward for doing so, so it's a win-win situation, y'all. That right there is the end of the advanced box. All right, so now it's time for the pro box. We got an item that I think everybody's going to dig, yeehaw, because I know I do. It is the Lord & Field Bushcraft Grill Set with Wax Canvas Carrying Case. I did a video on this, and man, my inbox has been blowing up. Where can I get one of those? I found where I can get them, but they're out of stock. You want to know why they're out of stock? Because BattleBox subscribers is getting it first, yeehaw. Look at this thing right here. Isn't that sexy? It's a Bushcraft Grill Set. I'll show you some clips of my video, because obviously I can't do it right here, but it is a grill set that you can set up, it's packable, it's pretty lightweight, it is metal, I mean it's real steel right here. You in camp, you got yourself a little campfire going, you want to cook you some vittles, right? Not like explain to some people what vittles are. <laughs> You telling me some people don't know what vittles are? Vittles is groceries, okay? <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> so, I'm not talking about Skittles, I'm talking about vittles. I mean, Skittles are vittles, but in the um, candy sense. Anyway, so you got uh, three uprights, I'm gonna call them. Two of them have a uh, female end with a male end, and one of them does not have the female end at all. So you can do it several different ways. You can stick this in the ground and then put that on top right there to make it longer and then if you need it that height and you're good you're fine if not you got a third one you slap that third one on there down in the ground and there's your uprights so 
I'm just going to take this one off for demonstration purposes. Do so, the exact opposite of how I would have done it. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> you can do it however way you want. You can do it this way if you want to. Um, I'll tell you why I like doing it this way. I like doing it this way because you put your grill on there. All right, what's cool is gravity helps, right? So no matter where I put this, it's going to stay. Put it up top up here, it'll stay. Put food on there, I can swing it over the fire, I can swing it away from the fire, I can bring it down closer to the fire, whatever I want to do. Also, if in the event it slips or I just want it to be low, I can bring it down to here and it's going to stop. And with that weld right there, it's a little smoother spinning around. Just my take on it. Also, if I want to take this off, when I grab this, it stays on. It, if I grab this one, it might slide down and get in the fire. You know, just I don't know. That's just the way I think. That's 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 how I do it. So you got this in the ground. You got this. You can adjust up and down on your fire. You can bring it around or to the fire, what have you. And then you've got this one that you can have on at the same time. If you got the third level on, it'll do the same as it's doing here. It'll just stop right here. Now this, you can hang a pot on, you can hang a water bottle on, you know, to make coffee, whatever. If you got a little roast or something that you, you can hang that from string down above your fire and spin it and you can let it just sit there and rotate over your fire, whatever you want to do. It's got these notches here so that you can, you know, slip other things on, on there and have different levels or you can hang your utensils here and you ain't got to worry about your utensils sliding around because they'll get stopped by the, the little bump stops right there. So really cool freaking grill right here and man you talking about cooking some good food in the video i'm showing you clips of right now while i'm running my mouth you can see i cooked myself a steak i cooked myself some eggs and some sausage and it worked freaking great and it will hold some weight As you can see in the video i'm i got a cast iron pot uh, skillet on there and it's holding that just fine so very durable very nice comes in the case you slip it into your backpack it's freaking awesome Great little kit right there from Lord and Field. Yeehaw. If you want to see the full video, I'll put a link to that in the description as well so you can see the full video of when I tried this for the very first time. Yeehaw. All right, so now it is time for the Pro Plus box tonight for the month. The meat and potatoes is coming right here to round out the box from Fox Edge. Oh man, it's so sexy. This is an awesome Christmas knife right here. I'm telling you. The Fox Edge done deal fixed blade y'all know how i feel about fixed blades i'm gonna be honest with you i really 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 dig this fixed blade because i don't have one that's a sub hilt now i've got a sub hilt this is awesome so check this bad boy out comes with the kydex sheath as you can see but what we have here is a hollow grind stainless steel stone uh black stone wash with g10 coyote tan scales and it's a sub hilt design that thing right there is bad at the bone. And you talking about a comfortable knife for your hand? <laughs> this thing right here is comfy. Even for me with freaking gargantuan hands. It's like a dang glove. Just fits in there. And that ain't going anywhere. You can use your own imagination of why you, you, know, you don't want it to go anywhere. And that is a very, very, very good feeling knife. And it's from Fox. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a brand from Fox. Fox Fox in Italy. Unbelievable freaking craftsmanship on their knives. And this Fox Edge knife is no different. And I will tell you this. Them cats over there know how to sharpen a knife. This bad boy's sharp, Jack, right out of the box. What an awesome freaking design right there. Look how nice and clean that is. That is a cool knife. Sub hilts. I got a new love for a sub hilt right here. And then you got your Kydex sheath right here, which is really nice. It's got the, uh, I forget what they call this. Okay, I always forget the name of it. So it's kind of like a tech lock. Locks in, and then you pull that to the side, and it's locked. You can't, you can't unlock it. Ba -bam! So that is Mission 70 of BattleBox, folks. December 2020. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, all that good stuff to you and everyone watching. So what we have in this month's box, 
quick overview. I'm just going to go left to right, not going to go in order. We got the Kong boxes right here, the Kong cases, all right? Freaking sweet, awesome, vibrant colors. And if you get this one, don't forget about this one. This one's got $500 in it, <laughs> okay? So if you get that one, please, by all means, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and all the you know, social media sites with a picture of you holding your case and your money, yeehaw. So we've got the cone cases. We've got Grim Workshop micro tool right here for making cordage out of bottles and stuff like that. It's freaking sweet. We've got the knife right here. You got the burry right there. That's right there is a cool knife. Great, inexpensive knife, very sharp. It's got serrations on it. It's got the drop point. Awesome, awesome, awesome knife. Uh, we got the, the book right here, the Emergency Survival Manual, 294 life-saving skills in there. 294 of them. You read it, you're going to know 294 life-saving skills. That right there is a really cool book. Awesome book right there. You're going to love it. And then we've got the Lord and Field Bushcraft Grill Set right there, Hanging Grill Set. That, that cat bird right there is bad at the bone. I'm telling you, you're going to love that at camp or at home. Set you up a campfire with the kids, you know, for Christmas. Test out your little camp set right there. Let's not forget the cam jam. The cam jam is gonna be one of your best friends when it comes to lashing down things and using cordage and, and whatnot. When you're, uh, when you're using that, you're gonna be glad you got it. You can cinch things down super tight and they ain't gonna move with the cam jam. And last but not least, the Fox Edge knife right here. Oh, baby, now that. Well, that right there is a knife. Ain't it sexy? Sub hilt. Oh man, so nice. You're gonna love it. Get back in there. Yeehaw, we're closing out 2020. Let's hope for a better 2021, right? With all the stuff that's been going on this year. It's been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. But as preppers and survivalists and uh, just people that love the outdoors and love awesome gear, we will persevere. Hi, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Check that out. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We got Mission 71 coming with some awesome freaking gear in it. If you want to know a couple little, little, little sneak peeks, check out the live feed from a couple of days ago on our Facebook page. Yeehaw. You might see something that you really like. Be sure to check out the live feed on the Facebook page. It was on Monday. So you can scroll down and find it on Monday this week. Yeehaw. Merry Christmas. As always, click the like, click the subscribe button, comment down below, share with your friends, and we'll see you next year with Mission 71 of Battle Box. Oh, yeah, I forgot the sticker. See, if I walked away and forgot about it and lost it, Daniel could have scanned it and said, hey, man, you forgot your box. Peace out, Cub Scouts. 2021's on the way. I wish I could juggle, because these would look really cool juggling, but I can't juggle. I'll juggle. Yeah, Tennessee. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I call that a win. I call that a win. That's Good job. 2021 right? is going to be awesome. <laughs> 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 All right.